In this screen, you will learn how to create a mouse over. We will work with charts, macros, formulas and functions, and conditional format in order to receive this effect. Let's see. In the first sheet data, we have revenue by team and by months. And we will add one sheet more and we'll name it calculation. And here we will put months and teams and revenue. We can see how many teams we have if we will use the function unique and add all our array and enter. And we can see that we have only five teams. So let me remove it, go back to calculation and add here team one and click on right corner and drag till team five. And here it is. And here we will display the revenue per each team depend on the months. Let's say it will be January. And here we will use the function sum ifs. The sum range is our range where we will calculate. We will go to data set and choose the column C and lock it F4. And comma, the next one is the criteria range. The first criteria will be teams, right? So the criteria range is the range of the teams. So we choose the column with the teams and block it as well, F4 and comma, and the criteria is this one, right? And we do not need to lock it because we'll move down. And then comma, and now we will see the criteria number two. The criteria number two will be months, right? So we will go to data and choose all our months here and lock it F4. Then comma and criteria two will be the months we will see here. And this one we will lock because we will not move from this cell, F4, and enter. And here it is, let me change the format. And let's see, for example, January, team one is 21,405. Let's go back to data set and let's see January, team one, the same number, right? and then go back to calculation, double click on the right corner. And here we have, now we will insert a chart with this data. We select it, go to insert, go to chart and select this one. And here we will click equal to the cell B2, which is general. And why we do it? Because if we here will change to February manual, this is change the data and this as well, right? Now we will add one sheet more and name it dashboard. And here we will write revenue per month 
and here we will start with January. Till June, here we will be July and till December. Let me select it and align in the middle and in the center. And now we will go to calculation, choose our chart, right click, cut, and then go back to dashboard, control V. Now let me put this bigger and here bigger as well and then adjust the chart. Well, and now what we need is to apply a mouse over effect to all our cells. To do it, we will insert a macro. We go to developer tab. If you do not have developer tab, you need to go to file, options, customize ribbon, main tabs, scroll down, click on developer and then OK. You go to Developer tab, Visual Basic, Insert, Module. We will write a public function and name it Select Months. And we will deem Cell as Range. And here we have it. And we will say that the sheets calculation, this one, open quotation mark because it is the name of the sheet. Then range. And from the range, we will say this one, the months. So the range B1. Value will be equal to our cell. And now we will adhere a hyperlink function. We will remove the months, click on equal and type hyperlink. The link location will be our function we have created. It is selection months, select months. The location will be our cell B3. Then close parenthesis comma and the friendly name will be the name of our months in this case it is january in this cell right so we'll put january quotation mark close parenthesis okay and enter and here when we will move our mouse and put it our this cell be free it will get error right value so we click it again and write if error we'll choose this function will be hyperlink select months will get error and then we will put january months enter and enter again and now when we put our mouse over this cell be free it get january here change as well and here in calculation change as well to red to january let's go back to dashboard and let's do the same with this cell so let me copy this function 
Let's click on February, remove February and paste the function. The only thing here we will choose. Be free to see free, right? And January to February. Enter, again enter and put our mouse over this cell and it is February. Here is February as well and here is February as well. And let's do the same with the rest of the months. Copy here the hyperlink function. And now when we put our mouse over each cell, we see the months here. And we can change to March here to April. Oops, it does not work. Oh, here because we need to change E instead of D. Let me put it here. And April, then May, then June, then December, November, September, August. And here we can see that it is changed as well. So let me change the format of February to January. Go here on Format Painter and click on January. And then select all our months and change the fill color to blue. Then we'll change the format of all our months by this way. Then when we will put our mouse our any months, these months will change the fill color and the font color. We will go to Home tab, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, User Formula, Format Value, Equal, let's say that if the first cell, remove the lock, the dollar sign, because we will move through all our months, our cells, is equal, go to calculation tab and select the month cell and here we will not remove the lock sign because we will be always here in this cell. Click format, then select font color, let me choose black and then fill will be light blue then click ok let me check and here everything works right then click on the chart plus and remove the axis and let's say we will remove the primary vertical and keep the horizontal then remove the guidelines then add the data labels then go to chart design select another style go to format click on shape outline no outline then click on the name of the table go home cell styles select the name then go to view and click off the guidelines and here we have our dashboard and that's all thank you for watching